You know, I've been real lucky in my career to have won over 100 titles. And whether that was people that I guided to or myself have personally won a tournament, it's been really, really quite an honor to be able to fish tournaments and c competitive fishing. You know, whether it's a sail fish tournament offshore, won the first one with Ray Rocher in 2008, or an IFA Redfish Championship in 2014 in Louisiana. But, <clears throat> you know, it's really awesome to think that my whole career I was actually catching and seeing all these fish with Costa sunglasses. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Captain Rick Murphy and I'm uh, one of Costa's pro staff and have been since 1987. And the one story that really sticks in my mind is winning the 2006 uh, Gold Cup, which is essentially the Wimbledon of tarpon fly fishing. So to, to kind of lead into that, I fished with a guy named Tim Mahaffey, uh, who's a really good friend of mine. I've been the best man in his wedding when he got married to his wife, introduced him to his wife. And the thing that you need to understand in all of those tournaments is it's never something you do by yourself. You create a team and it takes time for that team to gel. He and I won the Don Holly in 2002, setting at that time the, the most fish in one day as well as the most fish over a five day period. But all of that was training leading into uh, fishing in the Gold Cup. So the first year we fished in the Gold Cup, uh, we didn't do so well. I don't even remember what place we came in. Uh, but the second year, uh, we started to gel. The difference was in this particular tournament, you're allowed to catch five fish over 70 pounds, and then you bring those fish and strap them, bring them in the boat. You measure their length and their girth, and then they use a formula deciding how big that fish was. You would take pictures of the fish in the boat with those measurements as, uh, as you're supposed to. So that way we didn't kill any fish. We stopped killing fish years before this. And uh, the one thing that you don't ever understand until you reflect back is kind of how you get to where you got. So I'll give you a good example. In 2004, fishing in the Gold Cup, we would hook these big fish and they would essentially were using a Loomis IMX rod. Great casting rod with a scientific angler fly line, way forward fly line. However, on 130, 140 pound fish, you weren't able to lift the fish up off the bottom. They would get down there in the current and put their pectoral fins out. And it was just essentially like you had a nine weight instead of a 12 or a mega 13. So in 2006, we changed in May to the Loomis, uh, this particular cross current. And these are the actual two rods that we used in that uh, tournament to win it. But you know, what was so neat was how we got there, how it took two years of experimenting to catch the big fish knowing that you didn't have with an IMX blank, the, the weight and the beefiness in here. So here it is, the first day of the tournament, we run from Isla Mirada over to the West Coast uh, in um, a little 17 Maverick HPX with a 115 two stroke. We spent hours making sure that that boat would really haul ass and it did. You know, it went 56 miles an hour. So that first day of the tournament, we caught one release. And what a release is essentially, is it's a fish that you go up, you can fish up to a 15 foot leader, and you get the leader into the tip top, and if the fish jumps off, or if you, uh, he's not over that 70 pounds that you deem him a weight fish, then you break him off and you, he's considered a release fish, and that fish was all we caught the first day. So the second day, we had a little better weather. The first day we had some cloudy conditions and not so good. The tide really wasn't what it was. It was gonna build through the week and make our fishing better. We caught a 155 right out of the gate. I think it was the first fish we saw that morning. Comes swimming down the beach 
and Tim threw the fly and fought the fish for over an hour and got the fish in the boat. And then that afternoon, the weather, weather deteriorated over there, and so we ran back towards Isla Morada. And that was the part of the reason why you needed to have a fast boat. And that 115 Yamaha two-stroke really made the boat go fast. We had about an hour's worth of fishing. We pulled into a place called Buchanan Bank in the pocket. Nobody there. It was all muddy. And uh, most of the people thought, oh, the reason it's muddy is there was just something bad going on. It was a mullet mud. And that mullet, those mullet got those tarpon really fired up and excited. And, we were able to catch one on a chartreuse toad and that 92 pounder. So that's what we had for that particular day. So we felt pretty good about ourselves going into day three, which was Wednesday. Ran back over again, tide building. And the first fish we had come on, uh, swim up to the boat. We end up uh, getting a release out of that fish. Tim actually fought the fish for a little while and uh, ended up, I think, um, breaking him off. So we got right back into position and he was a little bit down. I said, bub, you can't worry about that. We gotta, we'll catch the next one. And here he comes, literally, here he comes. I hadn't even trimmed the engine up on the Maverick. And he throws a fly to that fish. It was a 145. And then the, every time we would bring a fish in the boat, you know, they would either have a scale would fall off or, uh, we would pull a scale off because it was just a really cool time. A little while later, we hook a second fish. We catch an 88. And then a little while, we caught two other release fish in between. And then we caught an 82 pounder, which now that has used up our f five tags. So on Wednesday, we caught three weights and one, and, and also three um, release fish. So the cool part about this is that today it's still the record for the most points in any given Gold Cup at 7,810 points. Or I'm sorry, 7,801 points. The record before that was 7,180 points. So uh, it was quite a, an honor to be able to fish with Tim and, and set that record, but more importantly, to think about having that kind of week, catching in five days of fishing, having 11 releases and five weights was quite a feat. And you can obviously tell that's one of the reasons why this is so uh, exciting to me because it's probably one of the best wins of all times to know that not only did you win the Wimbledon or the Masters of Tarpon Fishing, but you hold the highest score to this day.